Are you thinking of going to a Caribbean medical school but don't know how to pick the best school? You're in luck because today I'm going to tell you how to pick the best Caribbean medical schools that are worthy of your applications. Hi, I'm Nadine Evans from BMO Academic Consulting. Before we dive in, subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from. That way you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you want us to help you with your Caribbean school application, click the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. So let's get into it. You may be toying with the idea of going to medical school in the Caribbean, but you may have found yourself unsure if it's a good decision. Other than the obvious lifestyle benefits of sun, warmth, sand, and the ocean, it's very important to note that not all Caribbean schools are created equally. And although there are over 60 schools, you want to make sure you're applying to the very best, and most importantly, the ones that are accredited or internationally recognized. So let me break down what I mean by accredited and recognized. Have you heard of terms such as WFME, NCFMEA, New York and California recognized? Do you know what they mean? Don't worry if you don't. Let's quickly clarify any confusion. WFME is the World Federation for Medical Education. They award recognition status to an accrediting agency that's operating at an internationally accepted high standard. Think about it. There could be tons of companies throughout the Caribbean that say they're an accreditation agency, but just because they exist, it doesn't mean that they are making trustworthy decisions on the quality of the medical programs. That's where the WFME comes in. They will recognize acceptable accreditors, which are in turn accrediting different schools. The NCFMEA is the National Committee on Foreign Medical Education and Accreditations. The committee evaluates the standards of accreditation applied to foreign medical schools and compares them to the standards of accreditation applied to medical schools in the United States. If the NCFMEA describes the foreign country's accreditation standards are comparable to those in the United States, then the country is eligible to apply and participate in the federal student loan program. New York and California recognized are more straightforward, and they simply tell you if the specific school is recognized and therefore approved for rotations, residency, and licensure by those states. If the state doesn't have its own review process for foreign medical schools, they often adhere to whether or not the school is California recognized. The U.S. Educational Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates states that only schools that are listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools are eligible to take the USMLE exams, which are required to practice in the U.S. and participate in residency matching. Currently, they don't require schools to be accredited by an accreditation body, but as of 2023, this will be required in order for grads to practice medicine in the U.S. You see where I'm going with this? The bottom line take home message is that the school you attend in the Caribbean, in my opinion, should be WFME, NCFMEA, New York and or California recognized. If you ever have an intention of working in the US upon graduation, you need to be sure of these recognitions. Keep in mind that there is no official list of the best Caribbean medical schools. There are some schools that are known to be top players, but you have to do your research because many factors can cause this to change. There are some other factors that I want you to be aware of. Caribbean medical schools are for-profit schools and admissions criteria is intentionally vague in order for schools to fill their classes and make more money. This is central to the mission of a for-profit medical school. Dropout rates at Caribbean medical schools are high. In general, the admissions criteria for Caribbean medical schools is lower than in the States and competitiveness is limited. So that unfortunately means that the pool of candidates will be of lower quality and potentially unable to handle the workload. Now, that's not to say that you will fall into this category, but it's something to note that other individuals in your class may or may not be as extraordinary as you may be. So what about residency rates? Well, the exact match rates for the number of Americans and Canadians who study medicine in the Caribbean are not readily available. We do know that students who attend Caribbean medical schools in general are less successful in matching compared with non-Caribbean students. These are all considerations that you need to be aware of, but of course, there is certainly the opportunity to study in the Caribbean and still come back to the US or Canada and practice medicine successfully. In addition, if you have no intention of returning to practice in Canada or the US, then you can certainly go for it. As always, just be sure to do your research thoroughly to make sure that you will still be eligible for all the opportunities that you're hoping to be eligible for. 
So now that you know what to look for, you should be well on your way to selecting the best Caribbean medical school for you. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any questions. If you'd like us to help you with your Caribbean medical school application, click our link either above or below this video for your free initial consultation. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.